Switching gears a bit, it's been an exciting season for the Texas Tech baseball team, especially as they return to action after an eight-day break. They're going into their final home series of the regular season and facing off against the TCU Horn Frogs. Texas Tech Athletics' John Parnell and KLBK's Ryan King are now joining me to discuss the impacts of this week. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know, we rarely have guys on the show. I so I feel extra special that you guys get to join me and give us an update on Texas Tech. Thank you, Rochelle. So let's talk sports first. What's happening? Where are they at? They're a hot team right now, mm -hmm. but what's it looking like for them coming up? I mean, you, you hit on it right there. Obviously, they've been away for a little bit. They were getting, you know, finals and everything. Yeah. But here's, here's the deal. Baylor is a half a game up on them in the conference. Same okay. amount of wins. Baylor has one less loss because they had a game rained out. All right. In that game against Texas, Baylor was losing. So it would have really helped if <laughs> Baylor played that game. So right now, they each have three games to go. Baylor is going to Oklahoma State, Kay. who is a really good team. Obviously, Tech is hosting TCU. But for Tech to win the regular season championship, they're going to have to, in a way, beat Baylor. If They're, they're going to have to win three games, hope Baylor loses one, win two, hope Baylor okay. loses two, um, to win it. But they're hot right now. They've won 10 of 11. Tech has eight straight Big 12 games. After some people were panicking for a little bit, <laughs> TCU – not as hot right now. They've actually lost three of five. Most recently, they lost to Lamar, okay. who obviously is not on a, you know, a yeah. Big 12 type level. But um, so overall, it's looking I mean, good for them. Tech's looking really good right okay. now. I mean, they're projected to host right now, eighth national seed. So they're projected Very to host nice. like they have the last few years. So they're they're playing well right now. I love it. I love to hear it when they're playing good because that obviously works very well for the community. And I know you guys have some promotions going on at Tech. So tell me a little bit about what's happening there on the campus. Yeah, so we're really excited to have uh, fans at the game starting tomorrow. We've actually got 500 Tim Tadlock jerseys that we're giving away. So nice. it's going to look just like his jersey, except it's a t-shirt. Um, but they'll be red, Texas Tech, number six, and his name on the back. So okay. first 500 fans in attendance tomorrow night, we'll get one of those. And then on Saturday, of course, we're celebrating uh, it's Senior Day. So we're celebrating our lone senior, Cameron Warren. Uh, so we'll have a little pregame uh, ceremony for him. And then as well, courtesy of UMC Health Systems, we've got 1,500 mini cell phone electric fans. So you plug them right into your cell phone. 1,500 people are going to get one of those so they can enjoy those at the game on Saturday. I love it. Lots of promotions. Yeah. You guys are going to have to come back and show those things to us so yeah. all of us at home can have a chance to win them. Absolutely. I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I have to be on spot no, for that good. But it's a lot of fun, and I know people are going to be heading out to the game. Last details, what do they need to get in? Um, are they having to do clear bags and all that kind of stuff? What do they need? Yeah, so same clear bag policies we've had all year. Um, so same thing will apply for Rip Griffin Park. Tickets are still available, so they can go online to texastech.com or they can call in at 806-742-TECH. Very nice, guys. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Pleasure having you. <laughs> I like this. All right, coming up after the break, details on Traeger Day with Outdoor Chef. That's up next.